Hey, what is going on, guys? T. Sports 15 here, and today we have another episode of Toronto Blue Jays franchise. Uh, and before we get started into this playoff episode, I wanted to uh, let you guys know about this pretty cool offer. So uh, don't skip over this ad right here; it is pretty cool. So check it out right now. Link will be in the description. And here we go. Hey, guys, what's going on? My name is Anthony, and I'm here to tell you about a free entry, $300 fantasy baseball contest taking place this Friday night. This contest is a one-day contest. It will consist of every game taking place from 7 p.m. Friday night all the way until the night is over. Basically, for this contest, there will be eight tiers, as you can see on my screen. And in every tier, there's a different group or different amount of players. And from every tier, you'll have to pick one different player to put on your roster. And as you can see, this is my roster on the left. And basically, at the end of the night, when the scoring is over, it'll be just like a normal fantasy league that takes place on ESPN or Yahoo. And at 7 p.m., the... the scoreboard will start you can see that everyone else's roster and the scoring will go until like i said all the games are over at the end of the night whoever is the highest score out of everyone in the contest will win the prizes and their top 15 people will actually win prizes the prizes are 300 dollars, which is pretty amazing and it's a free entry you don't have to pay anything to get in all you have to do to get in is click the link in the description that will be found down below and my email will also be down there for any questions but basically, all you have to do is click the link, and when you sign up, it'll bring you to the sign-up page, and it'll, you'll make an account, and then it'll bring you right to this page where you can pick your team, and then when Friday night comes, you can win some really good money. Uh, I hope this guy, I hope this helps you guys. Uh, if you guys are looking to win some money, this is a pretty easy way. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I wish you guys a lot of luck. Thanks. All right, guys, so I am back, and we are ready to get into this gameplay, but before we do, I hopefully hopefully you guys uh, do go check out that offer. There will be a link in the description to the uh, website, and uh, go go join it. You can win up to $300. It's a pretty awesome offer, and uh, let's get right into the gameplay. We got Josh Johnson on the hill up against Justin Verlander, one of the best pitchers in the MLB, and this should be a very good matchup because Josh Johnson has had a very good stellar season, but here in the bottom of the first, he's going to give up a base hit to... Uh, uh, one of the best players in the MLB, uh, Melky, Miguel Cabrera, and uh, that will get them started off. So now two out, and uh, Prince Fielder up. He's going to go opposite field into the left center field gap, and this one's going to get into the stands for a home run. So early on in this game, they take a 2 to nothing lead, which uh, really, really sucks. Uh, hopefully Josh Johnson can turn it around here, getting into these deeper innings. Uh, and that was really, really early in the game. Only in the bottom of the first, he gave up two runs. But uh, hopefully he can hold it there uh, for the next little while, giving us a chance to come back. Uh, so here we are. We're going to pick this game up. We're going to skip to the top of the second. And uh, Edwin Encarnacion up. And he's going to hit this ball to the wall. But uh, the right fielder, Torrey Hunter, is going to track this ball down near the track. Uh, so here in the top of the fourth, we're going to skip to then. 3-2 uh, count, 2 out, and Jose Bautista is going to take this hanging curveball into the left field uh, for a base hit. So we get a runner on base here, and uh, next up would be Melky Cabrera here in the top of the fifth, actually. And he's going to hit this ball to right field, and this one is not going to be catchable for Torrey Hunter. That ball is gone, and uh, we're bringing this lead back to within one. So uh, it's a 2-1 to one ball game here after that Melky Cabrera home run here in the top of the fifth. And uh, we are we're getting some pretty good pop off of Melky bats uh, we haven't neither team has had too much offense just two big blasts for each team and maybe a couple more hits but uh, hopefully we can hopefully we can have a pretty good game after we make it a one run ball game there so here still in the top of the first stop top of the fifth uh, run on first base for Brett Lowry he's gonna hit this ball to right side Omar Infante what a play he's not able to turn the double play Brett Lowry beats it out by a mile at first base but holy cow that could have been an easy base hit there yes he'll Puig up with Brett Lowry on first base and he's gonna go for second and he's gonna get Say he's gonna get in there safe, so we have a runner on second base here. And uh, Yasiel Puig is gonna strike out on a circle change down and away. So uh, we do, they do get out of that inning here to the bottom of the fifth. Alex Avila up, he's gonna strike out on some heat there by Josh Johnson right down the middle fastball, but he can't make contact because it was 96. Uh, so here next up, and he's gonna get a base hit into left field, but that was actually an error by Jose Reyes. Uh, so one of his very few errors on the season, he doesn't make that many errors. 
But here, still in the bottom of the fifth, uh, we're going to get out of this inning. So that error does not cost us here, which is always good. Once you get an error uh, by any position player, it's good for the pitcher to pick up that player. Uh, and you can see the stat line here. Uh, we have four hits. They have six, and they're obviously up two to nothing. And actually, that was not an error. So Jose Reyes doesn't get credit with an error. But Ben Zobers up here, and he's going to get a base hit into right field on a roller. And uh, that'll be a runner on first base here to start off the inning. And uh, always a good way to start with a pretty speedy runner on first base. And that'll be it for the day for uh, Justin Verlander. We get one of the best pitchers out of the game. Uh, so he comes out of the game, and uh, coming in is Octavio Dotel, uh, obviously making his first appearance in these playoffs because this is the first game of the playoffs, uh, but he doesn't get any action in that inning. So uh, here we go. They're going to get a base hit into right field with a runner on first base. So they have runners on first and second, and one out. Next up is, uh, I, I think that was their shortstop. And he's going to hit into a double play there. Johnny Peralta, I believe. He hits into a double play. And uh, that will end the inning. So, pretty good way to end the inning there. And we'll have 8-9-1 coming up. Aaron Cibia, Puig, and Reyes coming up here in the top of the eighth. So, Puig up with one out. 0-2 count. And he's going to swing at a cutter on the inside half. And uh, that was way inside, actually. He's going to strike out there on that cutter pitch. Uh, so, that'll be it for Octavio Dotel. Joaquin Benoit comes in uh, to hopefully get the last out of the inning for these guys uh, obviously his first appearance of these playoffs they have a pretty good bullpen uh, with uh, a 789 Octavio Dotel Benoit and Valverde he's gonna end the inning here on uh, rollover by Jose Reyes and we're headed to the uh, bottom half of the eighth we're gonna bring in Anthony Bastardo for his first first appearance in these playoffs so Johnson goes seven innings strong Bastardo comes in he's gonna face the first hitter and he's gonna get a base hit into right field Bautista could have had a chance if he got a, a better jump on that ball but he does not and uh, they would have a run on first base with none out so now 2-0 counts and I believe this is Omar Infante he's gonna take a pitch down in the zone and that'll be a stolen base actually he gets thrown out my bad my bad so Fernando Rodney comes in actually it's not Valverde Fernando Rodney comes in uh, hopefully to cap the game off for them hopefully we can make a little bit of a comeback here so Austin Jackson comes up he's the first batter of the inning and on the very first pitch of the at bat from Jose Valverde he's going to uh, get the pitch right here he's gonna swing and he's gonna hit this ball up the middle the shortstop makes the play, but he cannot throw him out. Just barely safe there by Austin Jackson. So uh, we get a good start to the inning. And uh, I just want you guys to listen to the audio from this at bat from Jose Bautista. Single all the way, and now they're in business with the leadoff man on base to start this inning. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His first homer so far in the series as the Blue Jays have taken a 3-2 lead. So Jose Bautista gives us the lead here in the top half of the ninth inning. A great hit. Hits it 419. And that will give us the lead 3-2 to two here in the late innings of this ballgame. But we're not done there in the top of the ninth. Encarnacion comes up next with none out. He's going to hit this ball up the middle. And that will be a base hit. So we have a runner on first base now. Melky Cabrera up. He's going to swing at a pitch down in the zone. And he's going to get thrown out at second base as well. So strike him out. Throw him out there. And that will be it for the inning there uh, so now into the ninth and we left in the we left in the lefty to face Prince Fielder and uh, he cannot get it done Prince Fielder hits this ball into the gap into left center field and uh, he's going to get on with a double here so uh, not a great start but we keep Bastardo in because there was another lefty up and next Adam Lynn comes up with a 1-2 count he's going to look at that change up on the inside half that'll be strike three so we get the first out of the inning uh, an old Blue Jay Adam Lind uh, so here we go next up is Andy Dirks and he's going to get a base hit into right field 
and Prince Fielder's not going to test the arm of Jose Bautista. He's not that fast, and uh, Bautista has a pretty good arm. So Victor Martinez, one of the most clutch hitters in the MLB with runners in sport scoring position, comes on with one out, runners on the corners. And we're going to bring in our closer, Neftali Feliz, now that the, it's not a lefty coming up. It is a switch hitter, so it doesn't matter which pitcher you bring in. Uh, they always have the advantage. But 0-1 count here to Victor Martinez. He's going to take a pitch on the inside half, and that will be a hit-by-pitch. So uh, not too mad that we hit him we load the bases so we get a chance for a double play we line it up and uh, it gives us the opportunity uh, to face the next hitter Alex Avila 0-2 count he's going to check his swing on the changer but that is a strike that did hit the zone and that'll be strike three so now Two out, two two count. JJ Hardy's going to swing at this fastball up in the zone, 98 miles an hour, and that'll be it for this ball game. So we do win this this uh, game right here, and we are headed to the ALDS uh, to take on the LA Angels. Uh, it should be a pretty good series that'll be coming up in the next episode. We do win this ball game, three to two. Very well pitched game by both teams. Uh, the win does go to Bastardo. The loss goes to Valverde, and the save goes to um, save goes to Neftali Feliz. Player of the game is Jose Bautista. He hit that big blast to give us the lead there in the late innings. Uh, you can see he's getting uh, muddled by his teammates there. He went two for four uh, with two with uh, two hits. One was a single. One was a home run. You can see some of his clips right here. Just a couple clips. Uh, he does get tops player of the game great ball game here to uh watch a really quick game and don't forget to go check out the uh the fantasy baseball thing uh it's going to be pretty cool coming up this friday and uh hopefully you guys do enjoy that um you can see the stat line here we had 10 hits they had 11 no errors for either team but we do win this game three to two uh in the late innings so that is it for this video guys hopefully you did enjoy i'll see you guys on the next one peace